bag of all that honey Put that boy on the budget Flicks until the sunset Honey got me buzzing With or without a condom I'm the one you should fuck with baby Shake it, shake it Make it shake. Yo, 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 what's good, broskies? It's your boy Ronnie, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back with another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, doing a reaction to episode 10. Jit, not gonna lie, <laughs> I can't even figure out from the name what this is about. So, without actually wasting time, let's get into the video. That looks like a trap. It is. I feel like the person who set this trap is gonna have a problem with this. Not a baboon. Traps. You can tell from the metalwork. We better pack up camp and get moving. Sucker's just jealous because he doesn't have an arrow. <laughs> I mean, technically, he does. Who made you the boss? But your voice still cracks. I'm the oldest, and I'm a warrior. Who knows? Walking might be fun. So wait, what happens with our? Oh. Stinks. How do people go anywhere without a flying bike? <laughs> Why don't you ask Sokka's instincts? But the important thing is that we're safe from the Fire Nation. If you let us pass, we promise not to hurt you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Laughing? You promise not to hurt us? Uh, uh, uh. Nice work, Sokka. Right? Do do that? Uh, well, I don't think it's him. Uh, that is fire. Down you go. This kid is skilled. Oh, he actually has a squad with him. Gotta be quicker next time. All it takes is a log. <laughs> is that even possible? What a fucking wood. Why aren't you guys using fire bending? Oh yeah, not everybody's a bender. Okay, a new love interest. You just took out a whole army almost single-handed. I'm saying army. army. <laughs> Pipsky. That's a funny name. You think my name is funny? It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jet, these barrels are filled with blasting jelly. That's a great score. And these boxes are filled with jelly candy. Also good. Let's not get those mixed up. We'll take the stuff back to the hideout. Uh oh. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, she's a god girl right now. We've been ambushing their troops, cutting off their supply lines, and doing anything we can to mess with them. One day, we'll drive the Fire Nation out of here for good and free that town. Fire Nation killed my parents. I was only eight years old. That day changed me forever. Can you imagine? Sokka and I lost our mother to the Fire Nation. I'm so sorry, Katara. And now they have something to bond over. This is definitely new love interest vibes. The Fire Nation thinks they don't have to worry about a couple of kids hiding in the trees. They are dead wrong. Yeah! I feel like these, these kids are gonna take it to the hey, extreme Jack. and do something. Nice speech. Thanks. Very. I, was really impressed with you and Aang. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. But today. like, you know what I mean. He's great. Like, genuinely, you guys. Like, Aang has to master things by summer's end, hey? You guys are doing it. Everything by getting into the North Pole. False alarm. He's just an old man. I don't think they care. Doesn't look like they care. What are you doing in our woods, you leech? Please let me go. Have mercy. Does the Fire Nation let people go? Does the Fire Nation have mercy? <laughs> Jet, he's just an old man. <laughs> but he's literally just an old man. Yeah, morally, I think there's gonna be friction. Your boyfriend Jet's a thug. What? No, he's not. I want to hear Jet's side of the story. Sokka, you told them what happened, but you didn't mention that the guy was Fire Nation. He was sent to eliminate me. You helped save my life, Sokka. 
I knew there was an explanation. I feel like he's lying. I feel like he's lying. was concealing it. Tell me you guys aren't leaving yet. I really need your help. I feel like Jet is lying. Hey, I feel like Jet is selling so many dreams. We can't leave now with the Fire Nation about to burn down a forest. My instincts tell me we need to stay here a little longer and help Jet. It's not your instincts. You're just in love right now. Now listen, you are not to blow the dam until I give the signal. If the reservoir isn't full, the Fire Nation troops could survive. Got it? What's the point if the people there are gonna die? You're going, Ponytail. I can't let you warn Katara and Aang. Take him for a walk. A long walk. You can't do this. No worries. He already apologized. I got the sense that maybe you talked to him or something. Yeah, I did. I guess something you said got through to him. Anyhow, he went out on a scouting mission. This guy lies, eh? It's crazy how they just accepted oh he's the avatar and it wasn't made like a big deal. Okay, you two keep it up. I'll go check on things at the reservoir. How can you stand by and do nothing while Jet wipes out a whole town? Hey, listen, Sokka. Jet's a great leader. We follow what he says, and things always turn out okay. He's gonna trap them using their own thing. Yeah, that was dope. There, you might want to practice your knot work. Jet wouldn't do that. Bruh, <gasps> you don't know Jet. Like, for yes, all intents and purposes, why? you don't know sure. Jet. You would too if you just stopped to think. Katara. I need to get to the dam. This is no time to be a pacifist. Like you can't fight a guy like this. How are you gonna fight <laughs> the fire lord? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh! Sheesh! That is so cool. Yo, imagine if Jet was a bender, bro. like all this skill plus bending. Yo, relax. That is so fire. These kids really wiped out an entire town. Jet, you monster! Sokka! I warned the villagers of your plan, just in time. What? Fuck. This is pretty! But people's homes are still Sokka, fucked up. We could have freed this valley. Goodbye, Jet. Yip yip. Yip yip. Um, Sokka, you know we're going the wrong way, right? And sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> ah, what an episode. Um, not gonna lie, I don't a hundred percent see <coughs> its value into the storyline. Like, I don't understand, like, as a building block to the story, what does it add? I like, I. Like it's a cool story, it's a cool story, but for the most part, Ang and the rest of the team have to save the world. Like it's just interesting that they were so distracted by what Jet has to do, and they were willing to like let go of getting Ang to the North Pole just to do what Jet wanted them to do. I don't know. Like they just, I'm starting to get this. They get distracted very easily, and Ang is doing everything but water bending but he is doing water bending i guess like but for he looks somewhat on par with katara at least i don't know how much he's grown from that water scroll but like he seems to be growing fairly fast i'm just saying this episode was really cool and you know, all like as a standalone thing but in terms of like the storyline I'm not sure if I needed it or maybe Jet is going to come back in the future or something and this was just so that we 
and this was just that when he does come and like gets revenge or whatever it doesn't look sus i don't know i don't know i don't know but for what it is great episode tell me what you guys think did you like this episode did you not hit up the comment section let's have a conversation but other than that thank you so much if you made it this far like and subscribe and join the family thank you again see you in the next one peace